Five years after her infamous college admission scandal, Lori Laughlin is marking her return to the spotlight with a first for women magazine cover story interview. The Full House alum, 59, did not directly address the controversy in the interview. However, she did open up about forgiveness and learning to move forward. I try to be a forgiving person. I'm not one to hold on to stuff. Stuff happens to everyone. We've all been in positions to ask for forgiveness, but to ask for it, you have to learn and know how to give forgiveness, too, she said. My family wasn't one to hold grudges. I didn't grow up in a household where if you made a mistake, you weren't forgiven, she continued. No one is perfect, we all make mistakes. So I was always told to let stuff go. And I think for your own health, you have to let things go because you can't hang on to negativity. Life's too short. As for her secret to overcoming life's challenges, Laughlin said, for me, it's just persevering. As an actress, I hear her know a lot, so I just have to be myself and persevere and try not to let in negativity, she explained. My advice is to just keep moving forward. Everyone has good times and bad times. That's life. I think you just have to pick yourself up. Nobody said life was going to be a breeze. There's beauty in life, but there's also hardship in life. Thinking about her life today, Laughlin acknowledged how she's kind, strong, and open to life, open to experiences. And I'm grateful. So I'd say I'm strong, grateful, open, and kind, she added. In May 2020, Laughlin and her husband Massimo Ginelli pleaded guilty to wire and mail fraud after they were accused of paying $500,000 for their daughters Olivia J. Ginelli and Isabella Rose Ginelli's admission into the University of Southern California. The two were falsely designated as recruits to the university's crew team even though neither ever participated in the sport.